All right, so we have a Samsung washing machine and I came down to hear the noise of, it is a 5E e Air. I thought it was an SE Air, but I Googled it and it actually is a 5E. So what that means is that the washing machine is not able to drain. So down here, there's a little, you should see a little uh, cover. And how you get that out is you pry up on here, underneath here, and this little lip right here will come loose. And then it will fold down. So right now I'm draining what water is left inside the washer. And then there is a filter right here. Supposedly you're supposed to clean that out every two months. So for me, we bought this washer when we moved in here and we moved in this house coming up on three years. So it's probably time to pull that out and clean it. I'm not going to say. So this hose actually wraps up. And it's got a little clamp right here that it sits above and it has a, and it has this little barbed fitting on the end. So what you want to do is take this barbed fitting off the end, make sure you have uh, somewhere to drain the water when the air comes up. And then once all this water drains, uh, it came out faster than this when I first did it. As you can see here, there's about half full on the bucket here. It's probably about, I don't know how many gallons that is, three gallon, five gallon bucket. Um, so I'm gonna let it drain all the way. And then I'm gonna pull this filter out and I hope it's full of crap. So I can clean it and get this washing machine back up and running. All right, so it's pretty much done draining. I could go ahead and put this back in the fitting, but I'm gonna let it keep draining if it needs to. Need some paper towels here so I can put the air still draining more. I'm gonna go ahead and then turn this filter Okay, keep turning it until it comes out. And look at all that, look at all that crap that's in it. I'd say that filter was full. So I should be able to wash this down, get clean and put it back in and screw it in and then put the plug back in this and then run the machine again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this, I'll be right back. All right, so we cleaned it up and we're gonna put it back in. It goes in a certain way. Okay, so there is a groove here. So you can see here, there's a little uh, groove that it goes into. And then it allows you to screw it in all the way. There we go. And then we'll put the plug back in. And then I can put it back up in here, ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dry out this area. It does drain when it drains. There's a little groove here. So if anything drains from this, it will drain all the way down to here. So I'm gonna leave this towel here for right now so that way it drains onto that instead of the wood. And then, now that's tight, we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and run the cycle again and see if it fixes it. And we'll see if that's the fix. Like I said, it says clean, please clean the filter every two months. Um, I recommend doing that. So let's see if that works. All right, so it finished its cycles and I didn't get in there, so we're good to go. That's what it was. So look how much water was drained. This thing is like a five gallon bucket, maybe a three or five gallon bucket. It drained about two to three. Can't believe that, but either way. So there you go. Uh, the only other thing it can be is if the actual drain on the backside is uh, clogged. If that's clogged, then it probably backfilling. 
you'd probably have water on the ground. Other than that, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button if you liked the video and it helped you out. And put comments down in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you.